Signing is in, I'm not gonna go do it. I don't want to do pictures. So, That's yeah. not going to work for me. So, I need I need a videos. So there will so, be no prison museum. No prison museum because we are not allowed to do a video. Yes. What about look at that old that old house over there? That looks really cool. Yeah, that's the the Balai Remedios. Before. Tell me. I was wrong. I was, instead of museum, we were in Bama. The museum is there now. Look during the day how this thing looks. It has a lot more older age look yeah. to it. At night, the lights and everything make it seem. Okay, it's hot, it's sunny, and so gotta have sunglasses. I'm just here. I think it'll stay filming better in this mode, clearly. Yeah. You know, it's quite conceivable that this other museum will be exactly the same way. Let's investigate the boat club. The what? Maybe do try the other museum and maybe the boat club. I don't know. In other words, we'll keep the same plans even if they don't accept us. Yeah. We'll at least go, we'll go make the fail. More of these really cool trees. They grow all over the walls and stuff. That's a sight to see. It's so wild, it almost looks more like an alien disease than it does a tree. This is gonna be like the video with tree roots. What was the highlight of the video? All the tree roots. The trees and their roots. I swear that seems almost subhuman. X 
Titanomic history. Let's check it out. Check it out. Okay, let's go. What we do if this fails is we just go to the boat place and film the boat club.
Wasn't your mom somebody that was from the water? <laughs> yeah, this is very heavy Alongo. State in high school. Yeah. These guys. Are you um, excuse me, sir. Good afternoon. Are you a tour guide here inside the Baby Museum? Would you like to be assistant, sir? Sure. Yeah. Uh, a tour guide. He did good. Yeah, that feels good to be in English. So yeah. Oh, that's fine. Don't. Okay. So in this gallery, of course, Gallery of the Museum, it focuses on the geography of the Philippines and how the Filipino culture is definitely connected to IC and both buildings. Yeah. So I'm gonna enjoy this actually. So this is a uh, scale model of uh, Parapawa or Pangangayaw that uh, they use it for warfare. It's for warfare or Pagdulu Yeah. So this is what Pangangayaw uh, looks like if there's a uh, human or warriors. So the warriors is at the top. And at the center is their leaders. Wow. Yeah. Don't worry, we're going to reward you handsomely for this. So, uh, this is the Kujabi. It's a string musical instrument that is shaped like a bowl. String musical instrument bearing uh, shape in a place, but not some bones. Yeah. So, this is a Wodu Panoko. It's well located at the southern part of the Philippines, and it's called Yeah, which is in Mindanao. This is a beam of a house, or it's it's located at the balcony of the house. I've heard that like the more prominent yeah. valuable houses will have that in there. Like, the, the rich people still have this, I think. So are you guys familiar with Manubotar or what? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a Manubotar. So they, ca they call Manubotar because they found this jar in a Manubotar in Malawan. And it's located at all the way to 890 to 710 BC. This is also a group that the Philippines has already come in several locations and then before the Spaniards came to So where are you from, sir? Which country? Virginia, USA. Oh, it's only here. But I've, I've been living here for two years, yeah. Oh, nice. And there, we're new to Iloilo essentially. We've only been here for about a year, so. We started in Bacala, but we haven't made it to the museums, and some of the other museums won't even let you film in there, so okay. we got lucky with you guys. Okay. What's your name, by the way? Dira Salvador. Ah, nice to meet you. I am Internet. Yeah, you're doing a very good job. Believe it or not, you're going to make the tour a whole lot better for us. I, I, would, I would have paid money to have the tour, to tell yeah. you the truth. So this is Eva Johnson Dock, or a Sim Dock. So in our times now, it's, uh, this is a grave mark. Yeah, really? Uh, like a tombstone? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, see, I'll help with the English so side just, of this. They just uh, put it at the top of a bird person. Yeah. yeah, you can see in the back back here, fell on the yeah. wall. No, this is in the southern part of the Philippines, and that, in this one, is in the northern part. Ah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. We're looking so, at two different types, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Took me a minute. What? It took me a minute. I, I caught on. I'm with you. So we're here now. Yeah. Oh look, I love the design in here. It's like yeah. actually being uh, in a boat. We're inside. We're, uh, 
inspired by Galleon. So it looks like we're inside the yeah. book of Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, so this is a Galleon. So the Galleon, oh, this is a warship. But after the war, it begins trading ship. Well, look how much space they had on there, right? So instead of all the cannons and cannonballs, you just replace it with uh, like silks and whatever, I guess whatever they traded, probably sugar, sugar cane. I'm just spinning around real fast. Like coming right out the back. At the side. Oh, the, yeah, it's, the, I see them, the little ones sitting there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so it's, uh, the first painting shows the Bacolomo plant between Lapu-Lapu and the Chihuahua. And the second, and the second painting shows the, uh, where, where the Spaniards uh, introduced the Christianity here in the Philippines, that's why the Philippines is a Christian country. Cool. Yeah. Wow, but it's so colorful. It's a really nice painting, actually. So this, uh, this is a scale model of Caramel, so this, this is what uh, Magellan used when he arrived here in the Philippines. So if you notice, the, the Caramel is smaller than Galleon because yes. the purpose of Caramel is only for explorations, unlike Galleon, that, uh, the purpose of Galleon is worship or trading. Oh, yeah. That's why that In essence too, what happens, well, is this one wouldn't sink down into the water as deep as that one. Oh. So you could go through, ideally, a little bit shallower waters to explore. Where the galleon's gonna. Inside the galleon, this is how they arrange their drinks. So at the bottom, the liquid, like water, wine, soy sauce. And at the top, the dragons like spices. In this region, vegetables are not originally here from the Philippines because this was only exported from Mexico. And if they didn't export these uh, plants, until now we don't have this kind of plants here in the Philippines. Yeah. So these are the different Mexican words that uh, we adapt until now. So you're saying the Philippines adopted those words from yeah. the, okay. Yeah. Because the because the Spaniards uh, uh, colonized us for more than 300 years. Uh, so we're going to test me here. So what you were saying is, is these plants didn't exist in the Philippines until the Spanish came, and now they yeah. do. Yeah. And so yeah. now they do. Okay. Yeah, but I so know these were. Here's a good word for you, all right? These were not indigenous to these islands yeah. until the Spanish came mm -hmm. and then when the Spanish colonized the islands all of a sudden these plants took off yes. and became part of the Philippines. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, this is the, um, this mango and uh, coconut is originally here from the Philippines. This is also exported to Mexico. So they exchange. Yeah, they exchange the, the plants for the yes. I eat barter. Yeah, barter. Uh, okay, so, but excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm so sorry to say yes, please. But did you like um, uh, get some uh, uh, permission to take your video? She signed okay, the document. So yes. Okay. Well, so now that give him give him some pesos. That'll get us some permission. Okay. okay. So Can I run down this side real quick or? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what am I doing? Yeah, 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 Frank. So that's perfect. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making this better. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're here now at the. Uh, this is the uh, office of a campaign. So we're now actually in the number seven, and it's called Cubierta Principal. So this is the roads of Valdez. So from, from the Philippines to Acapulco, Mexico, or from Acapulco, Mexico to the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you there was some rough seas along the way on a few of those trips. So at the back, these are the tools that you use for navigation. Plus this is what it would sort of seemed like out the back, Phil. With the, the design in here is incredible. I think yeah. they've done a really good job showing this off yeah it's a little hard to capture but you genuinely get the feel from the ceiling the walls yes. that you're actually in a galleon ship now see this is the kind of museum i wanted to find this is yeah. a super cool tour yes, yes. and you my friend are making it tremendously better okay so so 
this is a registered Aurelian. So this is the most important part of Aurelian because this is where they put uh, the information like what is inside the Aurelian or what they carry. Yeah. Oh, Something wow. like an uh, inventory. Yeah. yeah, that is so neat. And after that, this is these are the clues of Aurelian. Wow, so, that, that is, I'm sorry, I'm still stuck, but that is really fascinating that they managed to like find a copy of some of that so they can actually see. And look at how ornate that thing is. Like that is really detailed. Yeah. That is, that is beyond impressive for me, actually. Sorry, I didn't mean to slow you up, but okay. that's cool. So these are the clues of Galeon, so from the highest to the lowest, from captain to page. And they believe that if you don't have a Spanish blood, you cannot be in the higher position. Mm. So we as a Filipino during that time, we're just a page or photo Yes. Okay, so from here, it then transfers over to yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in essence, it's almost like uh, officers, yeah. right? And this would be almost like enlisted. This is also officers, but uh, you can also, uh, uh, if they wear this one, they are the Spaniards. But if they just like wear this one, they are a Filipinos or Indonesians. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Sir, you are good. Apprentice. Yeah. Apprentice? Yeah. The, the apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. apprentice, yeah. yeah. Or, or slave, something slave. like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're here now. This is a horse cup shop of Galeon. So the Spaniards discovered that the trees or woods here in the Philippines are more stronger than the country. That's why they decided to make more Galeon here in the Philippines using some of the Philippines. Filipinos. And that is cool. So the trees are like your bones, Phil. You have stronger trees and stronger bones. At the top, yes, that it should move many. That is very fun to listen to. This is a defense against piracy. So before we don't have navy to protect ourselves. Uh, that's why they built that to protect themselves against piracy or some uh, Mandulusu. Those are some heavy duty forts, fortresses. It would take a lot of cannonballs to knock some holes into those walls. So right now, right now, the Philippine Seas during the 19th century. So from wind shape, it became steel. Ah, the steam, the steam. What's the word I'm looking for? Innovation? Look at those. That's pretty neat too. And this is Jose uh, Vasco de Vargas. He is the one who proposed to a king of Spain that uh, wants to build a school here in the Philippines. It's called La Escuela Nautica de Manila that is still existing until now and it's called Philippine Merchant Marine Academy. So ah, the Merchant Marine Academy yeah, of the yeah, Philippines. We have that in the, in the yeah. United States. So the evolutions of name, papers, old buildings, and located at Pension Rose Main, the old one. But the uh, current location is in Pagpanga. Sabi doon nila, pero hindi ko pala. Yes. Sabi sabi, it's Merchant Marine Academy. I like the logo. You do, huh? As do I. That is neat. We should send. Uh, we should. We should get Ralph just because he had interest. He came here. Be like, all right, Ralph, you got to go to the Merchant Marine Academy. Um, to go to the academy here, do you have to have some kind of a like in the United States to go to any of the Naval Academies, Merchant Marine? You have to get like a congressman to endorse your application. So, is it hard to get into that? In other words, I do not. It's probably competitive. So this part, this is where the. Uh, Philippines open uh, international port or shipping industry. Uh, open international shipping company. Like open uh, international uh, shipping. That's why they open uh, the port in Cebu, Cebu, and also here in Italy. Ah, okay. I, again, I like these steamships. See the big. Yeah, it looks like uh, Titanic. Yeah, a little bit flatter, but yes, this is exactly what it does look like. Even the old school picture, that's blown up nice. Even this, see, look, as you get to it, was it coming down this thing? Yeah. You see the big... Yeah. All of them have that down there. So this is the, the international shipping 
uh, the Philippines. So the Philippines exported different products to European countries. So we exported tobacco, coffee, abacano, sugar to European countries. There's the routes. Yeah. That's the product. And that's the product. Good words, baby doll. Tell you what, they did a nice this job. Is in the there. old hub of Ilo Ilo City. Yeah. So we're here now. Where's this is where here now? Yeah. And that's why it's called Ilo Ilo or Irong Irong because the shape, the shape is it looks, it looks like a nose. Mm. Yeah. Like your yeah, Ilong. Like yeah, nose. Ilong. Yeah. yeah, that's why it in, because Ilo Ilo. Ilo. Yeah. Ilo. Did you know that, Phil? No. <laughs> See. Oh. Oh, no, no, but. It, I have to admit, like, see, so you learn awesome. something new every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is actually really cool. Uh, this, see? If we wouldn't have had him along, we wouldn't know any of this stuff, Phil. So this, this makes is, the museum far more this enjoyable. This is a magnetic compass. We use this to determine the magnetic north. Actually, it's still working until now, and if you can notice, it's facing to a north. Yeah, because, it, because it's still working. Ah, okay, okay. That's what that little corner there is, the northern point. So that's what he's actually saying, is the north is that way, so it's actually on, on point. So this is Louis Rafael Arapo. Uh, he is half Chinese, half Filipino. They are the richest uh, persons before in the Philippines. And uh, this is his son, Adoro Arapo, who also built his own business because of a misunderstanding between his father. So this is the post, it's called Casco. Do you see how stunningly alike they look? Look at that, Phil. Yeah. They are almost spitting images of each other to a degree. Yeah. And it doesn't surprise me that they got crossways. That's what happens with rich okay. families. So this is the uh, these are the different type houses that the Spaniards built in the Philippines. So the nearest here in the Ilo is the Shadipicados, which is located in the Guimarães. But if you can notice, if, if it's in the Ilo here, because the Gimaras people is part, is part of Iloilo, but now is separate. It came its own. Yes, yes, yes. Did they have to, I wonder if they had to fight to do that, not like a war, but like argue over that, or? I could almost see basically the citizens of Gimaras were like, no, 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 we want to be our own. We don't want to be tied to Ilo Ilo in terms of the government. Those, those kind of fights can usually lead to a war, but it's kind of small for that. So we're here now, and this side, there are the donors who support the revolutions against Spaniards. So the girl is uh, Marina de Valencia. She donated his one as Esmeralda, and they support the revolutions against Spaniards. Wow, okay. I'm assuming her husband. That's not uh, her husband. Who is it? Uh, that is Manuel Lopez. Uh, they, uh, uh, they are donated for the SS. This one. Yeah, the 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 Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're here now. So in this one, gallery be one, two, and three. Uh, three Spanish era, Spanish era. And this side, gonna be four, uh, five, and six, and we talk about the uh, American, Japanese, and until the present. Yeah. Well, it's the 
Uh, it's still it's still existing now. It's uh, located in the U.S. It's uh, also became a museum. This is your ship. That's <laughs> that's all. That's, what that's so use. cool, actually. Yeah, and it's called USS Olympia. Olympia. Yes. I'm enjoying this. That's neat that they actually so, use... So during this time, uh, we're under by Americans because the Americans won uh, uh, against uh, Spaniards. That's why the, first, uh, the Americans first implemented uh, education. That's why they brought here a, that's what we call Thomasites. Yeah. And they are the Thomasites. They call Thomasites because they arrived here in the Philippines using U.S. Army Transport Thomas. So the first batch is uh, they are the military who volunteer as the teacher. Then the second batch is the um, civilian. And then they volunteer as the teacher in the Philippines. Wow. So this is the first uh, batch. Yeah. batch yes. just yes. arrived here. It's like a training. Yeah. For the no, they, they just teach. Okay, so they brought over as yeah, teachers. I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this one, this is a scale model of USS Manuel or SS Manuel. The purpose of this one is quite Also, very And the inside of this uh, ship is this is what it looks like because this was inspired to a Manila. Mayon. Yeah, Mayon. S S U S S Mayon. But see, even that has kind of a throwback to sort of looking like the um, Titanic. So it's still existing? I do not think it's still existing. Probably not, but I will tell you what, that is a really nice ship for that time period. It's big. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the uh, peace time. They called peace time from the word peace time. No war. No war. Because this uh, was uh, in between uh, a after first world war and before the world war started. So the, this road is the road of SS Mayon. So uh, their service is at their island. Yes. Like a like yes. a ferry. Yeah. No? Yes, yes, yes. From one little island to the next little island, this is kind of how that uh, whole island hopping thing yes. started. Oh. So yes, and uh, so the after peace time, uh, that is where the uh, World War II started, and this is the first uh, beach, which is in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. This is what uh, the uh, Japanese uh, bombed this one first because this is where the uh, Americans base, and also. Sorry. The and also the Philippines because the, the Philippines during the time is under by Americans. Yes. The red one indicates that occupied by Japanese during their invasions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now though they make this look kind of close, this is actually not very close at all. You'd have to go like part your way around the world, yeah, stop yeah. maybe at like the Marshall Islands or something. I know I guess it was in their case the Wake Islands, but anyway, midway. And then uh, boom, come over to Pearl Harbor. That's very cool. Yes. I like this illustration. So uh, during this time, because the Japanese occupied the Philippines, that's why uh, we became under the Japanese for three years. And this is what the fall of Bataan, and also they occupied Cebu. And after three years, na tong pagmamalagi na Japanese now Japan. Uh, the death march. Yes. That's what it looks like yeah, anyway. This is a battle of uh, Lady Ghost. This is where the uh, General Douglas MacArthur came back to here the Philippines, uh, bringing this Philippine 10 pesos money. It's made by the US. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yes. The purpose of this money is to replace the uh, uh they brought this money uh, indicates that they won against Japanese because if you can notice there's a very here victory indicates that they won against Japanese. And also the purpose of that money is to replace the Mickey Mouse money which is the currency of Japan. Oh yeah. yes. Wow. Yes. See everybody knows that term. There. Somebody won yeah. that, yeah. That Mickey Mouse money term. But you know, I wonder when that got started because you know, obviously Mickey Mouse didn't exist back then, so it, was, it makes you. So that, that is the Battle of the Philippines. That is a, a real battle between the Japanese attack. Wow. Well, and then it has the dates like October twenty twenty third and the different. Yeah, that's really, really cool. So it's the 20th through the 27th of October, 1944 is when it occurred. Can you imagine how many Philippines lost their lives during that? So in this side, uh, we're now in the Galar 5, and so what the Philippines see is at present. So we're now in the present situations or in other situations. Now, in this side, these are the different tragedies that happened in history. So, from ship grounding, oil spill, capsizing, terrorism, some parts of revolution. So, the most unforgettable one, for, uh, unforgettable one and remarkable not only in the Philippines but also in and the whole Southeast Asia is the oil spill because of its massive damage. And also the pollution because more than 4,000 people passed away because of the tragedy. Wow, it's yes. a lot. Look that sucker upside down. Don't they look scary when they flipped over? Oh, God. I mean, when they're they're big and upright, they're not so bad. But when one flips over like that, it just has this really eerie kind of ominous. The other thing I wanted to say real quick, look in here. It's got this design. It's like the other room. It's to, to look so more modern. Scale, yeah, this is a scale model of Roro. From the concept of the Roro, from the concept of Roro on the Roro. And at the back, the scale model of Super Fairy, uh, but we call now the go because uh, they are they at, yeah. Yeah, under by the roof. Yeah. Do you, know, do you notice you feel like you're surrounded by containers too yeah. on either side? They've done a good job here. It does look like the to-go, doesn't it? I guess it is the to-go. I didn't think we wrote that right. Oh, it's If they cannot travel here, they have a uh, something like um, Aberya or the, um, Typhoon or what, they travel here. And if they cannot travel here, because of the same situation, they're going to travel here. That's why the notable highways in the Philippines is a tree. Oh, that and makes so much ways. sense. So if you're trying to so get something... Have, so that they have an option. Yes. And this is essentially how you get products across. That is just super cool. So yeah, from the, the Bunga, the Bunga, Dumageti, Bacolod, Dumangas, Patiklan, Rujas, Calapan, Batangas, from Sarsogon, down to Sabar, Masapati, Bilyaran, then back to Cebu. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm trying to get you on film, babe. That's the uniform I'm yeah. used to seeing the most directly. Yeah. This is the uniform of mechanics. This is the uniform of the captain. Okay, yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning. You're doing good. <laughs> And this is a flag at sea. 
So the purpose of this flag is to declare the national nationality of ships kung saan po siya nagaling at kung ano po siya. Bung pandagat. Pangrisya ang Navy. This is the Navy. This is the Coast Guard and Marine Police. Right? It's impressive. I'm telling you, this Ralph should do it. Our hero. You should encourage him, babe. Be like, Frank's right, you should do the Navy. Just part of the are the different things of in different countries. It's this picture in here I wanted. This thing looks so cool. It's like a panorama. I don't know if he was trying to wait on it, but... Wow. Say that again. for a picture, or you got yours for a picture. Okay. Set this down real quick. And this is uh, the tools that they use. These are the tools that they use when making the uh, boats. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like boat tools, boat yeah. making tools. And at the center, the pangkal, they use uh, that. Traps for crops. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. One way in, no way out. Yeah. And if you can notice, there's a product at the top. That product is produced from fishing. Yeah. All fishing made goodies. Sardines. And this, and this is a somewhat. It's a wooden paddle with boat and leaves. There's a boat. Yeah, this one? The white one. Oh, that's, that's boat in or bone inlay? Wow, yeah. that would not have been easy. Look how detailed that is when you get a chance, Phil. It's literally put bones inside the handle. Right? It would not have been easy. That's a time consuming endeavor you're looking at right there. Yeah, I've I, I should have known that, but I had really never noticed that part of it, to tell you the truth. So, that's it. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this is what the end of a museum. So, would you like to take pictures here, from sir? I'll be with me. Here we go. Okay, so, wow. okay, so.
Miyagaw, tapos sa may Molo, sa Haro, sa so, ginano naman na naman. Correct. Why? So, so you can use this one, so if uh, wala naman, wala naman sa choice kay Pangamil, hindi ko naman ng Pangamil. Kaya muna, nang gaano kami hinga, mas more on ano kami, kay, especially ako, siya may siya sa mga pastings, okay. mga history that's why nga ano na mo nga mga missy yung kirao na mo na para i ano na mo sa mga ano man yung mga mga ano nga like for example si ka tapos sa kanya ay ato na sige ba yun yun ay ang tamo na tagali ano sa mga mga tamo na tagali sa mga ng palatuan si nilo nga mga ano mo si mo okay ba niya mga more on restaurant ihan man kami mga restaurant pero mix ang mga restaurant ng mga Feel tremendously better. Okay, okay. Where are we going to do it at?
right, so can we reward him? Or is, that, is it yes. allowed? Okay, good. Give him for me 2,000. Buy him some dinner. Give also the donation at the box. Okay. So one for him and one for the yes. box. So do we have a One year. So buy for your thank you for the tour. <laughs> so da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 Can I be honest? Huh? Not that I'm against the donation box, but I'd rather just give it to these two. Okay, so... <laughs> They're here. So, 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 and you two split it? Please? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You really, you made, you made our day, actually. The, uh, we tried to do the prison museum, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't give us a uh, permit. We thank you again. It's uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, all we ever do is elo, elo, elo stuff. Elo, elo, elo. All right, fellas. Thank you, Gal. Thank you so much. Okay, I gotta get your impression. That was so cool. How lucky did we get to have the tour guide part? If we wouldn't have had the tour guide part, I guarantee you we wouldn't have. Understand all of those, you know, just talk about teachers. The stuff teachers. that's going on without knowing. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. All right, so do you want to go back to the kids or do you want to go to the boathouse thing? I didn't realize how late it was already. It's for me. Well, now I'm on is they can take the girls. Okay. So. I got caught um, filming them. <laughs> All right, run up and go. Go where? To the boat club. All right. Check what's going on there? Say hi to Dan Dan. Yeah. And go eat. All right, now I'm back on the selfie mode. Look, it keeps wanting to follow me. I feel like Carefree Chris all of a sudden. Welcome to our vlog. With a big giant selfie stick. Yeah.
guys. I'm loving the dress you wore today. I guarantee you we get good compliments. <laughs> Stay to one side. Again? It's the way over there. Look at the way. I don't know what that is. It's a pretty Doesn't hurt to just walk down here and go check it out. So you don't want to go down there and just ask questions? You can ask. Down there looks like the regal. Nice. All right, smack that sucker. Car care, off road, and accessories. And then it was that car ego. There you go. Hello. How you doing, my man? That's all right. Biggest, biggest other question we had is, do they rent the jet boats or jets? Like jet boat. Jet boat. Like a boat. Tell him. Look at me. Just because of just because of the dialect. The on Facebook, the, the jet boat thing went at twenty five thousand for from nine to four. Yeah. Don't let us hold you up. Do your job. But yeah, do they rent the, do they do the same thing here or is that just... Hi, how you doing? <laughs> He's filming too, we're gonna have a... We're gonna... <laughs> yes sir, you caught me. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for letting us come in after hours. See, this looks very similar to what like the Facebook picture is. That style of boat. Huh? Hammerhead boat. Hammerhead boat. Hammerhead Yes, a very nice one at that. Oh, that was nice and small. Yeah, this is, remember mine, this is similar to mine, only mine had a compartment in it. But like, it's got the dual. It's the same over there. 
For the information and thank you, Dan Dan. All right, sir, we'll be in touch. Yeah, those prices are pretty good. Can you imagine how much fun it would be to have a boat? Here, smash that. Just kind of start over. Where are we going? We are going to Mule over there. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I think right over here. Yeah, because I like that. Yes, all the beach. <laughs> yeah. Hey, quick, give me a thing so we can, because of the copyright. Say bye. We're gonna eat. I see exactly why Elle likes this, her camera is, my camera doesn't have cinematographic or cinematic mode, this is astounding, watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for a whole minute so I can put a cool song to this. Hey guys, we are at Mule. Look at the sunset real quick. Alright, I've already polished off my dinner. Right, boom, salad gone, soup gone, it was so good. You can see a little of hers still, uh, so it's not on my ego. But uh, yeah, oh my god, the music is good, the meal is good, Mike and Bianca are on point. I see exactly why Elle likes this, your camera, and my camera doesn't have cinematographic or cinematic mode. This is astounding. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for a whole minute so I can put a cool song to this, and then I'm gonna let you watch it, and it is categorically unbelievable to see. All right, and thumbs up. Dinner is served. Beer, sunset, you lay.